let's learn how to find the point of intersection of a line and a plane. Now on the right hand side of the screen here we can see that I've drawn a plane which I've called pi as well as a line which I've called L and that passes through the plane. And what we're about to learn is how to find the coordinates of the point P at which the line passes through or intersects the plane. Now on the left hand side of the screen we have both the plane's equation as well as the line's equation. Now to find the point of intersection the first thing we need to do is rewrite the line equation in parametric form. Of course, if you already have the line's equation in parametric form, you needn't do this step. So in parametric form, this line leads to three equations. The first being x equals to 1 plus 2 lambda. The second would be y equals to 4 minus 1 lambda. And the third would be z equals to 1 plus 2 lambda. So let me quickly write that. That's x equals to 1 plus 2 lambda, y equals to 4 minus lambda, and z equals to 1 plus 2 lambda. Done. Those are our three parametric equations. Now that that's done, we move on to step 2. And in this step, we substitute the expressions we have for x, y, and z into our planes equation. In other words, we're going to replace x by 1 plus 2 lambda, we'll replace y by 4 minus lambda, and finally we'll replace z by 1 plus 2 lambda. The objective being to turn this plane's equation into an equation for lambda that we'll then solve. Here's what I mean. Rewriting this plane's equation using these three parametric equations leads to 1 plus 2 lambda, so that's x, minus 2 times 4 minus lambda, which is y, plus 1 plus 2 lambda, and that's z, and all of that equals to 12. So to be clear, 1 plus 2 lambda was the expression we had for x, 4 minus lambda was the expression we had for y, and 1 plus 2 lambda was the expression we had for z. And at this stage we can see that we have an equation for lambda. So the goal now is to simplify this left hand side as much as possible, and then to solve this equation for lambda. So let's go ahead. On the left hand side we have 1 plus 2 lambda minus 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 2 lambda plus 1 plus 2 lambda, and that equals to 12. We now gather like terms on the left hand side, so we have 2 lambda plus 2 lambda plus 2 lambda, that's 6 lambda, and we have 1 minus 8, which is negative 7, plus 1. So that's negative 6, and that equals to 12. Now solving this equation for lambda leads to 6 lambda equals to 12 plus 6, so that's 18. And finally, dividing both sides of this equation by 6, we find that lambda equals to 18 divided by 6, which is 3. Done. And this value, lambda equals to 3, is all we need to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the line and the plane. Indeed, all we have to do now is go back to the line equation and replace lambda by 3 and calculate the coordinates. So let's go ahead, I'll call that step 3. Using the line equation we have here leads to x, y, and z equals to 1, 4, 1, plus 3 times 2, negative 1, 2. That's equal to 1, 4, 1, plus 6, negative 3, 6. And by all means check, but adding these two vectors together leads to x, y, and z equals to 7, 1, 7. And we're done. We now have the position vector of the point of intersection of the line and the plane. And in fact, we could state the final answer as P has coordinates 7, 1, 7. And there we have it. That's how we can find the point of intersection of a line and a plane. And that's it for this tutorial.